was 1948, and here I was, 20 years old, dressed in high-heeled shoes, silk stockings, and a fur coat, standing beside a small airplane, knee-high in a snowbank, somewhere near Arrowwood. I had traveled halfway around the world to be with the man I had met and fallen in love with three years before. At the end of World War II, I was 17, living in Holland with my French mother Mimi and my Dutch Papa John. I was an only child in a wealthy family. I had grown up with housekeepers, nannies and maids. One day, after the war was over, a friend and I went to the beach. We met some soldiers who invited us to go dancing with them. My parents were very overprotective and especially didn't like Canadian soldiers. So I didn't tell them I was going to a dance with these guys. Instead, I lied and said I was going to go to my friend's house. It was at this dance that I got to know Keith Cochran, a soldier from the small prairie town of Arrowwood. He was due to ship out five days later. Over the next three years, we wrote letters back and forth. In early 1948, my father announced that we would be sailing to the United States to his office in North Carolina. I let Keys know that I would be in the U.S. and if he wanted to see me, this was his chance. We were in a hotel in New York City, riding in an elevator, when I pulled out the train ticket that Keys had sent me. I announced to my parents that I was leaving them. I was going to take the train to Alberta. My father said that I might as well go and get this man out of my head. He had been to Winnipeg and hated it, with the cold and the lack of amenities. He thought that I would feel the same way about Arrowwood and would return soon enough. So with his blessing, I headed off on the train. I arrived in Calgary on February 27, in the middle of a roaring blizzard. In order to pick me up, Keith got two small airplanes with skis. On the return trip, Keith went with one pilot and I went with the other. My plane got lost and we stopped and this is how I ended up standing knee high in the snowbank. After getting some directions, eventually we found our way. It has been 65 years since I landed in the field that day. We got married June 30th, 1948. There have been many opportunities to return to my nannies and housekeepers. I learned how to cook, wash clothes by hand, plant gardens, drive truck and pull cows, but not once did I ever want to return.